at least this video is explaining how we got the deals after that we're gonna explain how we avoid the air you know how when you go to the airport like spirit i think one of some of our flights was spirit um we don't want to pay that extra <laughs> that bad price so how we pack to avoid paying that so we'll discuss that one on a later video but in this video is pretty much how we end up getting a good deal how we end up getting our deal for nine day travel for going to orlando to panama city panama in one trip all right let's get started okay okay let's do this All right, you go to skyscanner.com, type in the where you're coming from, type in pretty much the day you depart and the day you plan to return, and then how many people are traveling. And then instead of clicking search, you scroll down and to the section that says search everywhere. That one is what's going to help you know what's all the cheapest places that are going on right now. Before, we had checked, and it did show Cuba, but we realized Cuba had a travel ban, so we had to go back and look again. And right now, we're choosing Panama, because that's where we're feeling like going. Like. I really don't care. As long as we go, we just need to go somewhere where it's safe. I mean, well, you know, you know. Yeah. I don't want us going nowhere where there's a war going on or some crap. <sighs> Panama looks like it's nice. I say we go to Panama. Oh, snap. Panama it is. There is a Panama City, Florida. And we're going to Panama City, Panama. There was a little confusion that we were going through. But we're going to Panama City, Panama, not Florida. I'm checking if there's a, a travel ban in Panama. Uh, Panama City. Panama City is a city in the county seat of Bay County, Florida. Uh, is it in Florida? No, it's not in Florida. Yes, it is. Panama City. It's not in Florida. Oh, I'm tripping. Why do you send me to this one? Mm -hmm. It says Panama City Beach. Spell it wrong? P A P A N A M A? Yes. Is that how, is that what it is? P A N A M A. Yeah, that's what I have. Right. Didn't you say H? No, my girl. But it looks fine. Panama it is. Somewhere in Central Mar America. I was going to say Central Market. What's the full name of Panama what? It's Panama. That's it. Don't put Panama City. Just put Panama. Okay, I get it. Central America, Panama. <clears throat> It is actually Panama is right next to Costa Rica. It's like the neighboring country. It's a neighboring country to Costa Rica and Colombia. Yeah, it's right by Colombia. Mm -hmm. Right by Colombia, right by, well, not right by Cuba, but Cuba is right there. Dominican Republic. Now, after figuring out through Skyscanner the final destination we're going to be going to, which is Panama, 
then go to Airwander, um, type in Houston, then going to Panama, City Panama, <laughs> then I uh, put in the actual dates that you are going to depart. And then you also choose the day you're going to be returning as well. Then instead of clicking the search, you click the plus, the red plus button. That helps calculate which stop um, stopovers, different stopovers. At the end of the day, all it does is show you the cheapest places you can stop at. We ended up choosing Orlando as our stopover that we're going to be choosing. All right, after you figured it out, check the destination you're trying to be going to, Orlando, Panama, the dates are correct. Make sure you check the times of when you want to be departing or arriving, the layovers, how long the flight is. If everything is matching, then go ahead and select the price that you're getting, $365 per person. So going to is it's cheap to go to go it's expensive to come back. It's cheap. It's cheap. I said it's cheap to head out to Orlando fifty eight dollars. One way is always cheap. But then coming back, it's 248. Sometimes it makes me think it's best to just book one way instead of both ways. I mean, right now, the one I'm booking is for the U.S., but, you know, it's always nerve-wracking because you don't want to make a mistake, you know? And, like I said, I don't do it on a regular basis. It's another thing if I do it on a regular basis where I'm like, ah, eh, but this is really, like, my first time. And then, we're doing it separately. We're not doing it all together, either. What do you mean by that, <laughs> We're booking each destination separately. Is it booking two tickets at the same time, though, when you do do it? We're booking, yeah, two seats for two passengers, two adults. It was $54, and now it's, the tax is $3, $3, and our total is 116 for the first one. That's going to Orlando. Flight is at 3.45 p.m. We arrive at 7.10 Orlando. Flight is 2 hours and 25 minutes. Two hand baggage free. Okay. We ready? We ready? We ready? Damn, so it's $116 for those two people to go to Orlando? Yeah, not bad, ain't it? That's cheap as hell. I hope that shit legit. You have to understand, it's one way. It's not yeah. both. I know, but damn. Uh, details are good. Way that yeah, but it's one way. Yeah. I told you, it's more expensive coming back home. It's cheap going out, but it's expensive coming back. Okay, one the first one is book, time for the next one. On to the next oh, on to the next I didn't even do the calculator. So you want to pay for the 
Yeah. Time for the next one. Okay, so okay, so listen. Uh so whenever you say shipping, you mean you gotta pay for the flight to go to Fort Lauderdale to Florida, right? Mm-hmm. And then from Florida to Panama, you gotta pay for that ticket. So after putting all your information, they're going to start asking you about if you want pretty much a particular package. And just to make things easier, we just go with the basic. Um, we're not trying to pay extra. Yeah, we're usually fine. I mean... Depending on your sec- how you feel, you can choose whichever one you prefer. But we go with basic because we, we're not trying to spend that extra money. So, after clicking it, uh, he ends up giving you the final price of your ticket. And it seems like it may seem like a hassle dealing with paying them separately, but. If that's how you get the deal, that's how you get the deal. And keep in mind, the motto is, we're following the deal. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, it ends up showing the price to be $128 for both of us, Orlando to Panama. Three sixty-five. Three sixty-five times two people was like seven thirty. So, I was subtracting the times that I did... The prices that I did for the first trip, the second trip. So now with my last trip, it should show um, 486. It should show 486. Saying that's how much um, our last trip is going to be for. It was going to cost you more. Yes. For this final what is that, trip. Purpose? For both of us, for the last trip. No, just for the last trip. All together is like 7.30. Because you have to keep in mind, it's 3.65 per person. But if you multiply by 2, it's 7.30. That's still not bad. For both of us to travel for 7.30. Predictions are correct for $86. Total 7.30 for the flight. Now let's go check out the hotels. Okay, this is the way we did it for the hotel. We went to Priceline.com to book the Orlando flight. Well, not flight. The Orlando hotel first. So, Priceline.com. We went to make sure to change the actual location to Orlando, Florida. Then the date, 23rd to the 26th, one room. Well, we went to Express Deals for Orlando. Keep in mind, Express Deals, you do not know exactly what you're getting. You just know the stars and which location you're going to go, you're going to get. So, for the best deal that we saw was 3.5 for $37. That's not bad. Three point five star hotels are usually good, and it's by the Sea World area, which is what we wanted to be using here, which is great. And it's not that far also from the airport, which is also another plus. Then, after that one, let's go book the hotel for Panama City, Panama. So just go to the search but search um section. And then start typing the hotel area. So we pretty much did Panama City, Panama. Change the day to the 26th to the 31st. And let it. But for Panama, we actually went and did the browse all. We did not want to do the express deals. Only because the stars and it was just looking a little off. And, but the prices were really good on browse all. So we saw the best restaurant plus Panama Zen Hotel, $39 a night. 
it's not bad at all. I'm pretty sure if we went to Express Deals, it probably would have been cheaper. But for now, this is fine for us. Only because we're not used to doing it outside the country. Later on when we get used to it, maybe so. But right now, we did browse all. Price was still good. And I think based on the pictures, the location, and it's very, we kind of wanted to be in downtown Panama City, at least close enough. So everything was looking good. So we decided to move forward on it. For those days, it's going to be only $238. Not bad.